हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 33 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू जनरेट जेसन स्कीमा एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेसन एंड जेसन स्कीमा सो गाइस बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 32 ऑफ माय एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई दैट इज हाउ टू एनेबल एस एस एल इन विजुअल स्टूडियो डेवलपमेंट सर्वर फॉर वेब ए पी आई एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट पार्ट यू नीड टू विजिट बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट थर्टी थ्री दैट इज एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई यूजिंग एस क्यूल सर्वर एंड एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क सेटअप सो गाइज दिस इज माई इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट इज व्हाट इज जेसन व्हाट इज जेसन स्कीमा जेनरेट बेसिक जेसन स्कीमा एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेसन एंड जेसन स्कीमा ऑल राइट सो गाइज जेसन जेसन स्कीमा इज ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर द जेसन रेस्पॉन्स दैट डिफाइंस द एक्सपेक्टेड डाटा टाइप्स एंड फॉर्मेट ऑफ इज फील्ड इन द जेसन रेस्पॉन्स इन रियल टाइम सेनेरियो जेसन स्कीमा वैलिडेशन प्लेज एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल टू वैलिडेट द जेसन रेस्पॉन्स विद द एक्सपेक्टेड डाटा टाइप्स एंड फॉर्मेट ऑल राइट सो गाइड व्हाट इज जेसन सो जेसन स्टैंड फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट ऑब्जेक्ट नोटेशन इट इज अ लाइट वेट फॉर्मेट फॉर स्टोरिंग and transporting data it is often used when the data is sent from a server to a web page and uh, what is json schema so it is so it is a specification for json based format for defining the structure of the json data so json schema defines the expected data types and format of each field in the json response and json schema is a contract for the json response that defines the expected data types and format of each field in the response json schema validation plays an important role to validate validate the json response with the expected data types and formats all right guys so here uh, uh that is what are the difference between json and json schema so before that we need to discuss how to generate the json schema so guys this is my web api project called web api coding in this project i am used in my all the video sessions so it will be easy for you to track the step by step process before going through any next videos all right so this this one is for i have used so many api action methods so guys this one is for uh i'll show you that get employee details all right so this one is for get employee details it will show only the employee details that is it it is using to hit the get request so after running my web api application i am getting this response i'm just i'm just copy that url all right and go to my postman and here i paste my api url select the get request all right and uh, press the send uh, to get to perform the get request after doing this i'm getting this response right you can see i'm getting all the employee and with its id first name last name gender and salary if you click on raw data you can get all you can see all the response in a one paragraph right if you go to pretty you just uh, there is some uh, format so it will be systematic format in postman right so this is how we we, gen we can get the json right so uh, <clears throat> thing is how to generate basic json schema guys all right so to generate basic json schema i just i'll go to my one one of the url right that, that is called extendclass.com slash json hyphen schema hyphen validator dot html i need to refresh this url so once the once the page is loading okay you can see there is two section that is uh, one is for json and another is for json schema all right so here in just in uh, uh, left hand side that is the json will you need to generate the json schema right and in left hand side we need to create the we need to create uh, that is left hand side is for json that is general schema for J from json and in json schema will generate json from schema right so we just in my in this video 
our requirement is we need to generate schema from the json all right so what i will do here is i just uh, copy all my response right from the postman copy this one go to here in the left hand side we just paste here my all the response all right <coughs> so uh, what i'll do here guys once my paste all my response you can see one button here json schema if you have the json file you just up, upload the json file and click generate schema from json same way if you want to generate json from schema you just upload the json schema and click here json from schema so as per this video requirements we need to create schema from json so click on this generate schema from json <coughs> so you can see guys the schema is generated right you can see all these th things i generated that is whatever the fields id first name last name gender and salary here we can see that in the item array we have that required fields id first name last name gender and salary and all the properties and its definitions properties is id title id type is integer and the example is one and uh, first name the title type and example and last name title last name type string and example is here same way for gender uh, the type is string okay and the title is gender and for salary title is salary type is integer it is an example right so from this json response we are generating the schema and the schema is nothing but the it is just a data types and formats of this json response response all right <coughs> so guys uh, i'll show you one uh, that is i'll discuss about what are the difference between json response and json schema all right so in json response i'll show you here uh, you can see the structure of this json response have has a few important things to point out the api returns a top level array right you can see here and each array entry is an object an employee right so each employee has a id first name last name gender and salary and the, the first name last name gender are strings while the id and salary are in integer format so same way we'll discuss about this schema right what is json uh, what are the structure of json schema so json schema line by line we can clearly see how it represents the shape of slash employee response or slash user response so top level array top level type key tells us the api returns an array right you can see here you can it is a type array the item describes the shape of each array entry each employee right this is the item so it describes the shape of each array entry that is each employee right and uh, the first name you can see the first name last name and 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 uh, gender all right are string format so see you see the type is uh, for first name type is string and for last name type is string and for gender type is string all right and while the id and salary are integers right you can see for id type is integer and for salary uh, type is integer right so this is the difference between structure of json and json response json response and json schema all right and go to my presentation uh, here difference between json and json schema which i already have discussed in this video all right guys so that's it for today guys uh, how to create generate json and what are the difference between json and json schema so that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day